In the last hour, protesters have been marching on the White House again. This has the feeling of another night of anguish and of anger. George Floyd, they chanted. And ahead of nightfall, the family of Floyd, whose death in police custody triggered the unrest, is pleading for calm. My family is a peaceful family. My family is God-fearing. His brother says only peaceful protests can change the system. Y'all protest, y'all destroy stuff, and it, they don't move. You know why they don't move? Because it's not their stuff, it's our stuff. So they want us to destroy our stuff. Come on, dog. They're not going to move. So let's do this another way. But cities all over America are reeling from the chaos overnight. In Washington, we witnessed running battles between protesters and police through the streets. And coursing through the crowd was a seething anger that only built as the evening wore on. Activists pleaded with the riot police to show restraint. Why don't you guys stand up against the bad cops? Alonzo was kneeling directly in front of them and begging the officers not to bat and charge the protesters yet again. What is your message to these police officers? My message to treat us like American citizens, to treat us like we matter, to treat us like you're actually here to protect and serve. There's no reason for y'all to pull a gun out on us before actually trying to figure out the situation, to try to understand the situation. I've been shot nine times so far by rubber bullets. What have I done? I got bum rushed on my knee the same way with my hands up. And this is just playing out just a few meters here from the White House. A row of police officers here trying to keep control. The White House and the president in lockdown. He is barricaded in that building while we've got protesters outside and a row of police officers trying to regain control of the nation's capital. There was vandalism and looting too by a tiny minority. And the police fired thousands of pellets into the crowd to seize back the streets around the White House. Several buildings were set alight. For some black activists, such acts of violence are themselves a tragedy. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! For these largely peaceful protests, powerful and eloquent, are in danger of being hijacked by more militant elements. We gotta come together, or we gotta kneel. We gotta be peaceful. This, you see all this? No, this is not gonna get the message. They're gonna continue to ignore us because of this. These street skirmishes lasted for several hours. And this is just one city among dozens across the country that are experiencing this wave of unrest and the re-emergence of deep-seated racial grievances. Ariana had come to the protest to have her voice heard, warning that America is now at a crossroads. Hear our voices, sit down with us, meet us at the table, and meet our demands. If there is not systemic and uh, radical change to the criminal justice system, then we can't save you from all the anger that the black people have. It's 400 years of pent-up aggression. There is a sense that America is now on the edge, tested by a pandemic and by a president who cannot hear the cries of burning injustice that are echoing outside of his own residence. Robert Moore, News at 10, Washington.